I use these words quite often, but today we're in a stunning, 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 so I'm saying it a few times, location, to see a property. Well, it's absolutely fantastic. And it's the yellow one, right in the middle of this video. What a location. Today we are in the stunning village of Petorano Sulgizio. It's about less than 10 minutes away from beautiful Sulmona. Stunning location. Public transport that takes you into Sulmona where you can get to wherever you need to get in Italy. You are probably 20 minutes from the number one ski resort in Abruzzo, which is Roccarasso. The location is just simply amazing. The road at the bottom that you see there takes you straight toward Roccarasso and then on to uh, Naples. And then in the opposite direction takes you down to Sulmona, which we can't see from here. The property is on the other side of the village and it's just an absolutely stunning 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 place in a brilliant location and this property well just wait while you wait while you see it wait while you see it so this is the side of the church where we've just been stood around this corner looking the other in the other direction and I want to show you something inside this archway that is just brilliant this town is also known as the Terrace of Abruzzo and when you see the views you can see why it's just <laughs> it's just an absolutely jaw-dropping location and this town spreads down the hill I don't know if you can hear the water at the bottom of the hill but uh, there's walks down there it's just beautiful and then because it's winter time and it's strangely warm today there's a little bit of haze but in the distance there is Sulmona I'm not sure if you can make it out it's right pretty much in the middle of, uh, of the video now but you are literally 10 minutes away from uh, from Sulmona what a great 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 location so I want to show you something inside here look at this a little bit of uh, artistic what's the word a bit of cinematic style movie making I'm sure I'll be getting calls from Hollywood anytime now <laughs> not anyway the reason why I want to show you in here and some people do say to me or write in the comments why do you always talk about bars and Restaurants, why not tell us more about doctors and hospitals? But I don't like that side of life, to be honest with you. And not only that, if I lived here, I would spend quite a lot of my time in this place. So it's winter time, so they haven't got their full set of tables and chairs out, but what better place to sit and have a coffee or something stronger don't want to promote alcohol in any way but what a better there's no place in the world better than this all right maybe there's some com some that's comparable but you've got to admit this is uh this is something special look at the uh the old sundial up there, I don't know if you can, there. Stunning. So there you go, a bar. <laughs> One of my favorite pastimes. And inside there is also a restaurant. And the property we're gonna see is really, really close to this, just a few minutes walk. 
So the parking for this property is just round that corner. Up this, it's not really a, a hill, but an incline. And then, these typical, typical streets, beautiful. And the property is this yellow one at the end, but you get the first level. So remember this door, because I do mention it, this one here, because I do mention it shortly. So this part of the property, which seems strange, because it all looks one, but that actually belongs to somebody else. And... This is the entrance down here. Typical houses in Italy where they are sort of parts of houses. So your outside space is actually round, round this corner if you like. So, but bear with us because this is a fantastic property. Okay, so let's look inside this one. This is the fabulous thing of this property. This room is just <laughs> beautiful. All the original vaultings. This is your living space. So living, kitchen, dining room, everything all in one. But what a great space. With three double doors. We also have this little what can you say i think it's a great place for wine cut into the rock kitchen is quite small but you could build it out as much as you want just the condition of this place is just so so good especially for the price these ceilings beautiful beautiful Yes, it has got a spiral staircase, but I'm uh, big boned, as I like to say, and I can get up there with no problem. But you could change things around, potentially, if you wanted to get rid of that, uh, that staircase. It is used as a holiday home, hence why you can see a few decorations, Christmas decorations and uh, other things. Here, a little space barbecue this is probably the widest part of the balcony and the rest of the balcony I thought it was a longer balcony but that no, was this side Not a huge amount of space but you can still pull a chair out with no problem So that's the, the first floor. Now the heating on this level is done by this pellet burning stove. Upstairs there is central heating. So you could bring that down if you wanted to. But this would be more than big enough to heat this entire room. That's it would be the fact that there's gas central heating upstairs. It would make it possible for you to uh, to bring it down if needed. These floors are quite nice as well. There's just the, the laminate wood floor, but it works really well in here because you have the vaulted ceilings. You have, you've got the history, if you like, and then a little bit of modern brought into the mix. It's a great size room. Got to be at least probably seven or eight meters by maybe three and a half. Four. Superb. Okay. Let's do the staircase. I did manage the staircase. I wasn't airlifted in. <laughs> but you actually get an entrance 
onto the, if you remember, the door at the front. That's that. Then we have bedroom one. This is the smaller of the two. Has been used as a, a child's bedroom, but I would say you could get a double bed in here. It's also got these beautiful vaulted ceilings that are covered at the minute, but you could reveal them if you wanted to. I'm fairly com confident that a double bed would go maybe against this wall or maybe against this wall. Here's the, uh, the radiators up here. And then a balcony that you can easily sit at. Oh, this is the long balcony. I knew there was one. Looking up at the, the town. So even though it is a traditional town with sort of uh, not much car access, you're not far from parking at all. This balcony connects both bedrooms. I'll show you that one in a second. You've got some beautiful views here of the mountains. This property gets me excited. <laughs> this is a, it is a great one. A great one for holidays, rental. Town's brilliant, as I've already said. Really picturesque. Then we've got bedroom two, which is really the main bedroom. And look, they've been really clever because the bathroom is is this part, but rather than building the ceiling right up, they've put they've made it so you can have storage upstairs. They've got lots of ski stuff in here, but also what it does, it means that these amazing vaultings can be seen in full. So if you wanted to reveal the stone, you can do that no problem and everybody knows how much I like to reveal a bit of stone this one's a bargain folks you, you have to take a punt at this one this is one that, even if you're thinking about buying remotely as lots of people do Just a superb place for the money, absolutely superb. Bathroom, big enough to do everything. They have a washing machine there. Door, a little bit tight for those of us uh, big boned people, but I'm sure you're in plenty of space. Clever use of the, of the glass bricks to give some light. It's private, there's no uh, you saw that the storage above this. Right. What can I say? I'll give you my final thoughts in a second when we're in the room downstairs. So, final thoughts on this one. Gone, you can all guess. Brilliant. For the price. Location, the town is stunning. And you're so close to Rocorasso, the number one ski resort. Yet you're well within the hour to the, to the beach. And the, this area is stunning. That's another word I like to use a lot. <laughs> and I get a lot of grief on, on YouTube as well. But who cares, I have broad shoulders. I'm originally from Yorkshire, it's difficult to offend me. But it is absolutely stunning. Ten minutes outside of the, another word I like to use, amazing town of Sulmona. Just the whole valley is, is brilliant. And this town in particular is one of my favourites. Buses into Sulmona, so you don't need, you don't need a car. The town's got some bars, it's got facilities, pharmacist, bars, restaurant, or a couple of restaurants. And that wonderful bar that I showed you earlier on the video. 
which is uh, what a place to stop and, uh, and relax. So yes, if you're going to take a punt and you want, you just think, okay, let's get something that we can use as a holiday home and use as a rental maybe for later, then this is that one. Little walk to it from parking, who cares? Part of your holiday, isn't it? Love it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to join us every Thursday on our live streaming sessions on YouTube and on Facebook, where we talk about the legal aspects of buying a property here in Italy and speak to people such as accountants, foreign exchange specialists, and also clients that have already bought living out here. Lots of fun. Make sure you join us every Thursday. Thank you so much and uh, hope to hear from you soon.